Hey everyone, how you doing? Thought I'd do a kind of a special little video of uh, painting and texturing and lighting and stuff like that. Um, I made mention of this in the uh, the update video on this uh, Star Trek ship, and this is the engineering section. And I did the block work already um, in the past, uh, so it's mostly done. I might make a couple changes, but uh, yeah, I just want to get going and uh, get this room done for real um, on the ship here. So uh, one thing I just want to do before I start this is I'm going to fly through the uh, area over here and I'm going to just take a, take a look at what I did do over here and just so it gets into memory. I kind of, kind of want the new uh, engineering room up there textured a lot like this. I just wanted to check to make sure I used the color I thought I did, which is this tone. I was playing with like different tones for this uh, like engineering uh, metal color and I sort of ended up with this one it was kind of uh, you know I started more orangey um, and then I kind of went red and then I again kind of found something in the middle <laughs> this seems to be the the general theme for this ship here so um, I don't know if it's orange I don't know if it's red it's just something like it <laughs> so here let me fly back in here and figure out yeah here we are um, all right so I think uh, to make life easier, I'm just going to remove the big, the bigger parts for now, um, and I'll get a light on here too. Um, so I'll just take out the uh, the warp core, and I didn't never did put that piece in there. Okay, and that's about it. All right, so I'm using a lot of different, uh, well, a few different colors on these builds, and uh, yeah, I don't like that right there either, but. Uh, and the the floor I've been uh, uh, virtually getting away from what I normally do, which was uh, using this texture. Um, on this build, I've been kind of using just kind of the flat metal and sometimes uh, some extra little lighty things in certain places on the floor. I don't think I'll be able to pull that off in here though. So um, what I'm gonna do now, uh, it's just weird trying to narrate what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm not, I, I'm not terribly used to that, but it's no big deal. It's no big deal. I'm going to start painting this a little bit. And sometimes I kind of like the idea of like a stripe, like a, like an orange stripe, and then maybe the rest of this uh, this enclosure thing um, is more of a metal-y color. Um, I've got a lot of different tones for that kind of stuff that I've been kind of using, but I've been trying to keep in th trying to keep things a little bit brighter. And of course, when I'm texturing, uh, a lot of these lines and stuff, I'm, I'm really paying attention to where those are with this uh, metal texture. I blot out most of them, but sometimes, like in this circumstance, these two kind of line up all right. Um, so I don't really hate that. Um, maybe it'll work, but maybe it's too liney. But I don't like this line over here. Um, so I'll get rid of that one. And then you got a little bit of a seam there, and we'll get rid of that line. And uh, I'm I'm typically kind of slow at doing this um i'm always uh analyzing everything trying to come up with stuff and sometimes i'll get a little faster but then i have to go back through and tweak it again um so i'm just trying to make sure i get like all this stuff keeping it pretty smooth right now at least on the flat parts but let's try to mix it up a little bit on the top here maybe go for an alternative uh texture maybe something like that there and how about some uh good old like floor matting type stuff over here and then uh oh yeah we can keep that the same color for now and then the edges uh this is kind of my go-to for edges um in this case it's probably the what i'll use mostly um because it looks more metally like a more like an i-beam kind of thing and let's see then we got the inside stuff and i know this one fits great on the inside I'm so tired of using it. I wish there was more textures that were smooth like this that had uh, a you know, general shape uh, for some alternatives. But uh, yeah, um, in this case though, it's uh, I want these inside pieces to look a little bit darker than the outside pieces. So I'm, uh, I'm just gonna tint those a little bit more on the inside there at least. Uh, this texture looks horrid if you uh, paint it too dark. So I don't wanna really do that one. And I don't like this line up here either, so let's get rid of that. Hey, look at that. A piece. <laughs> and that's kind of how I do this. It's like one little uh, one little thing at a time, you know. Uh, I actually kind of uh, have the most fun and uh, enjoying doing this kind of thing when it's, you know, you just kind of take your time and try to make everything look um, the best you can. Um, 
This this would be a neat place for a little texture like glowy kind of thing, I think. Not too many that fit that spot. You can put in like this though. That that actually works okay. Um let's do some more orange there. And then let's go back to the uh kind of the silver look here. Now this one, this one's a little weird because yeah, it uses the same texture surface all around here, so I guess I can work. Maybe I'll uh, eventually put like a light on the top or something and cover that up. Those, those lines going the wrong way, basically. Now on the inside here, I don't know. I wanted to experiment with something. Um, in this build, um, I recently discovered, because I uh, was playing around, this is one of the alternative Xeno textures, which actually matches the metal texture. Um, and it's kind of, it comes in darker in, in nature like this here. If I use like a tone about like that but it's kind of neat looking um, in certain places so I'm wondering if I should try that there and see how that that works out um, it almost makes me want to make this other part darker then too on this side I don't want to go too dark with this though because it is Star Trek -y and I want it to be kind of bright um, and you know what I'm gonna for now I'm gonna figure out something else with that once I get to the lighting I think I don't I'm not liking that piece at all right now Let's paint the sides here, though, and clean them up. So I almost have to double paint everything, um, usually. Uh, let's see. Oh, no, that paints all three of those. Oh, that's bad. Uh, yeah. I guess I'll try that for now. Maybe this whole block work will change. I'm not. I'm really not liking the way it's texturing. And you know what? This should be orange here too, on the edge at least. Ah, and darker here. <laughs> Hide that stuff a little bit more. All right. Well, let's just start. So I got two pieces of that. Let's. Uh, so this other piece, I guess, about the same thing. So I'll just kind of repeat everything real quick here. That's right, I did paint these a tone darker here. A lot of it's uh, the illusion of a, like uh, creating like shadows or forcing shadows um, is, is what's going on, why I use some darker tones on certain areas. It's intentional to make it look like there's more of a shadow contrast between the two parts. Um, something I figured out a few builds back on, uh, I think it was the uh, Carapace C7, I was uh, messing with that on. And again, I really hate using so much of that texture, but yeah, there's just so little options. <laughs> so now here, this looks extra bright from my vantage point with a light shined right on it. Wait, oh, did I paint? You know, I didn't paint this part yet. Okay. All right. Um, I don't really have room to do another orange piece over here and that on that side, but that's all right. All right, so inside warp housing floor, probably ought to get that out of the way. Actually, all this interior area, so I'm going to just kind of do some of that right now. Um, try to speed it along. That I'm Usually after I figure out, you know, kind of what I'm going to do, it does, I do speed up a little bit. It's just uh, first off, uh, trying to figure out exactly where to start and whatnot does take a little longer. Uh, I do kind of want to put something here. There's not many options that fit around that piece either. Again, this sort of. Um, I'm really tired of using it though. Ah, you know what? You shouldn't see this. Oh, and you can't texture the inside of that either. Okay. This one's the UVs all messed up on the top of that. Kind of wish a lot of this stuff wasn't um, overlooked when they put out the new new parts. Okay. All right, the floor in here. Um, been using some of this other texture for a lot of this, so I'm gonna do like a strip and just make sure they're all facing the right way. 
something on either side, and then do something different down the middle. Uh, uh, again, trying to not use so much of that. <laughs> glowy thing in the middle there. Alright. And then this back wall. Now should it be uh, dark or should it be not sure if I should go like orange with this or just kind of darken it out or try to make it look techy. Um, maybe a combination of both. Um, get a little darker tone here. A couple things here. And almost some orange in the middle. And uh, good enough for now. This is gonna be a low visibility area, so it's not it's not a big concern. And yeah, probably those ought to be oh that paints the whole thing orange. <laughs> Do orange here though. Let's put in something, uh, something techy looking. I got this block flipped the wrong way. So since there's only one, I'm gonna do it with the uh, change rotate here. And basically, uh, I'll, f I'll ba basically flip it. Well, it's a little tricky doing this. Okay, flip it like that. That should work. Now I got, uh, I can texture that part of this, this block. So that gives me a chance to put something different there in a different color. Um, that looks kind of neat. And how about some more of that on the sides? And maybe this shouldn't be orange. Maybe that should go just uh, that color with it and have the orange on the outlines. I don't know. A lot of, uh, every time I do one of these things, there's a lot of, uh, you know, try this, see how it looks. Uh, try something else, see how it looks. Uh, so that, that's where a lot of time goes. Um, not necessarily in how, how fast you can click the stuff. It's just figuring out how you want to do it, really, and what, what's, what looks the best. I kind of like that. It's a little bit darker tone than what that is. Kind of looks like it's a little more shadowy there. You'll never see this, so. I mean, unless you remove the warp drive or have to replace it or something. Can we turn a couple? Yeah, those two line up. Uh, these two, I guess, are going to go bye-bye. There, okay. So we got a quite a bit of orange inside of here. Um, I'll do one more strip of orange. We'll see how it looks in the grand scheme of things here when we get to the outer room. I'm going to have that more of the other uh, outer part of the room lighter, though. hardly any texture detail back here. Hmm. Starting to take shape, starting to look like something. Let's get this middle part painted. Um, God, I almost want to go dark with this. A dark tone of something. Maybe, uh, maybe something like that. And uh, of course, probably this. It fits around there. Um, that looks bad too. Here, um, let's get some um, room color in it. So what I've been doing, my lower wall color has been this, and my upper wall color on a lot of these rooms has been this. And then sometimes I'll alternate some of these little tones here. But uh, this would be, I guess, considered upper wall color. Um, but I, I still want to try it brighter for now. And let's get uh, that texture around the pipe ends here. And... I'll try to get like a, uh, a little bit lower, a uh, little bit darker tone on this row here. And we'll get rid of a lot of these jaggies. And here's just yeah, something like that. Okay, so this lower trim here. Let's go to this tone. That's good. It's again kind of a shadowing thing. Makes it a little bit darker than the other piece. And we'll 
let's go just our standard white here on the walls. Leave that one. Get on a lot of this stuff. And then I got, I've been using this color also for a ceiling color. So you gotta have your, your ceiling tones. <laughs> and I'm missing the block here. Where does this go? Oh, upstairs there, okay. So let's just slop something in there for now. And let's make this particular piece of vent. When I'm using the vent, it's a naturally brighter texture, so I, I tone it down a couple notches um, on this. Whoops. So it blends in better with the, uh, the other color there. And we're missing some stuff here. This, I guess all those got to be gone anyway, except that one. Alright. Let's get this pipe textured with something. I've been going a little bit lighter with the uh, the pipes in this game. Usually I go dark. Uh, Star Trek, I'm trying to make things a little more cheery. So, um, yeah, maybe something like that there. Let's uh, switch it to that and then maybe put in. My God, again, this piece. Um, this has so many uses, it looks good in a lot of different ways. Um, definitely a usable texture there. Um, okay, now the wall. Now, I'll worry about the wall later. Let's get a lot of this other stuff done. Um, now, around, okay, the flooring walk in here. Um, one sec, I want to reference what I did over here. Okay, so it is, uh, I did a couple different tones of metal. A little, uh, little stripe. Okay, nothing too much. So I wanted to kind of do the flooring up here a lot like that. So not, not too terribly difficult. I um, guess let's use this tone. And block out a lot of that stuff. So I, that's going to force me to paint all of that that color because of how it lines up, which is probably all right. No, that doesn't work either. It's nice to get occasional line in, but sometimes you just get a bad bad luck when you're texturing these things, and not a single one will give you the right full block look. And yeah, this actually, let's just paint this whole area in. Mm, not that strip, though. The strip I want to do something different with. Um, I don't know, I could try, nah, if I do that, it'll look too, like, MCRN. Um, I want to do something a little bit different with it. I, I don't think orange would be appropriate, because I got orange, I'm going to have orange, more orange on the walls. I could try to go with some, like, techie thing. Yeah, no, nope, not that color. Um, so we had a, I don't know, maybe, oh, that doesn't line up. Yeah. Changeable block, yes it is. I always got to look. I mean, sometimes you can rotate them, but sometimes it's doing something on the other side of the block, so you can't. Okay, how about a couple like that there, and a couple here. And then we'll put in some plating or something. Oh man, not that same texture again. Um, does that work? Uh, just, just experimenting with options. So that the light on this side gets buried, but not over there. I might be able to work with that. And we can put another one there. Yeah, I think that should work. Want that one out. Uh, uh, there's got to be some just full squares somewhere. There's one. <laughs> got to find them. <laughs> got to search for the textures and see see where the full full square block is. And uh, so okay, I like that double strip. I like this one. And there's just a little bit there. That's just enough. That's all you need really. Just a small little bit of. Uh, line detail there and uh, 
Okay, so this is kind of the back of the warp drive. I already got one of those things there. Uh, guess I'll kind of want to put a texture here, but I'm not sure what. Nah, leave it. Leave it for now. All right, so the inner piece here. So we kind of painted up this whole wall kind of white like that, but I actually kind of wanted this to look like a machinery or something of some origin, or at least part of it. So how, how should that go? Um, and should it, should it have any orange going on on it? Probably not. Probably not because it's all gray there. Yeah, obviously, I, I go to that one texture an awful lot <laughs> because I, it just works so well with so many different situations, I think. Um, but, yeah, I've been really trying to get yeah, and use these other textures in here. They can look really good if, if they're placed uh, in the right place. Again, I wanted this to look all kind of techy, like it's a machine itself. You know, it's just some random blocks. And you know the top of this, I did it like light colored. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna revert that. I'm, I'm gonna make that dark again. So now it's just all that is that color, and that is that color. All right. And I don't know why I got a, a decal on the ground here. Oh, oh, I see. It was from this block over here. Hmm. Yeah, That's pretty tight. By the way, some of these areas, there's it. It's kind of the the appearance that you know, um, there's a little more room in it than there really is. But it's uh, yeah, as the the more interior that gets done, the ship feels bigger and bigger and bigger all the time, which is kind of cool. Um, so let's get a vent there. How about a, a texture light here? Should I do something here in orange too? That might look kind of cool. Maybe uh, just a little section of orange around up uh, around this trim, and then maybe the uh, maybe up across the ceiling or something. Oh, but I, I cannot paint the window orange because it's got to be this color from this side. So I don't want to set myself up to be forced to paint it that color. So I better stop with uh, not go up a stripe that way. Instead, oh yeah, I didn't like this block either. Something about it. So uh, let's, uh, let's get that one out of there and let's go for an alternative and see if this works. I don't think it will. No, that doesn't really help much either. Um, it's almost screaming for a pipe here to really dial in the whole machine look. Could do something. Oh no, that pipe doesn't line up to that. Hmm. I guess I could just kind of go shapely and um, bring that top shape down to here. Like that. That's better than it was. Yeah, okay, I can I can deal with that. And since you're inside, I'm gonna make you look a little bit more tinted. Is that the same color there? No. Let's paint it in. That color. Okay. Alright, how about a couple little uh, texture bloody things and ceiling color? Maybe there and there. This is where the warp drive was. <clears throat> All right, plot out a couple more of these. Turn some, some of them to get a couple lines, but all facing the same way. Yeah. 
usually when I end up doing this too, I'll do like something like what I'm doing right now. And most of it is usually all right, uh, but then I'll uh, go through and try to do further detail later on. I'll like look at it a little bit and try to make some more changes and, and uh, dress it up a little bit more. Um, usually happens most of these areas, but uh, a lot of these rooms that I've been doing on this ship, I'm just like kind of doing them from start to finish and just persistent at working at the one particular room. It's like another build, basically. <laughs> It's like each room is just like it's a new build that you're doing, so it's kind of fun, and it doesn't seem like this big, daunting, never-ending task that way. <laughs> it does end; these tasks do end. But they, yeah, this this one's gonna have a lot of, a lot of, a lot of build time in this ship for sure. This is uh, one of the uh, definitely higher build time uh, creations I've uh, tried before here. All right, so we got this. Uh, I like this ceiling little indentation here. I kind of want to do something with it. Um, it also, you know, break up all so much of the uh, the gray. Um, so I'm kind of wondering if I should go do something darker over here again. Um, maybe something like that, and then something that sort of matches it. Uh, see, uh, yeah, uh, the go-to texture. I'm trying to, f I'm trying to fight it. I'm trying to fight the urge to put that texture everywhere. <laughs> Again, it would be awfully nice if there's more textures that would work. But <laughs> um, so yeah, see, I didn't put that texture there. I put another go-to texture there instead. <laughs> uh, yes. After a while, you you know you, you get your favorites, you know, of your textures. Um, and some textures uh, look good if they're light colored. Um, and if you try to paint them dark, they look really bad. And other textures is kind of the opposite effect. If you if they're light color, they look bad. Well, not too many. Most it's mostly uh, most textures work better if they are light colored. Um, a lot of these textures don't play very well with darker colored tones. Okay, so let's do uh, our straight white here. Or sh hmm, did want to kind of get some more orange rolling in here, but. You know, I wonder, maybe, what if the orange, let's put in something really, really tech, techy there. Um, what if the orange wasn't across here, but was actually a strip over here? And then, oh, but I wouldn't want it to go up into that, that area right now. Or maybe I do. Just see what happens. Might be a little too much. We'll see. We'll see. Lighting changes a lot too. Once you start throwing some lights in, um, everything you see now is going to look different. So that's uh, that's something to think about too when you're doing this. And I think I'm just going to have to go with just gray over here too for the uh, walk path. Which is, uh, oh, and then we got, uh, what's Xenoblock here doing? Oh, okay. That is part of, uh, secure bridge protection. I see. Um, well, that's going to force me to put in a Xeno texture. This one works, uh, sometimes, you know, uh, it's on display in the ship in places. And then this texture, which is the one I showed over there, that you can also use in the regular uh, metal ones. And I use some of this even, which is really rare for me. <laughs> um, but yeah, pretty much only in the uh, the elevators, which I thought it looked all right. And uh, a great thing about this, this also um, is a matching texture to that of the uh, your regular like metal texture sets. So uh, I could keep the Xeno blocks that were going up the elevator the same texture as the... Uh, as the hardened steel blocks that are in the in the area, or steel blocks. Uh, I don't have any steel or carbon substrate blocks. I don't think I have any blocks of steel in this ship. Um, so, oh yeah, but the side of it, you see. But then you get into trouble because then you always got you got the front and then you got a side, and it's like, oh, what are you gonna do with the side now? Um, so maybe I'll do that, and then I will make this texture above it match that one, so I can kind of hide the Xeno. Um, Good. So, and then uh, since I did it there, I probably should do it on this side. 
to blend both of those in and then uh, figure out what to put back over here. Now this this uh, this area over here could fit like a, a oxygen tank or something. I was kind of thinking that that was going to actually go there at some point. Just curious what that would look like if that was just orange, and maybe I darken this up back here. Yeah, okay. Weird how the orange is working. And yeah, this this is bugging me up here. I don't like that. Um, it's one of those things, you know. I painted it, tried it for a little bit, look at it a few times. If every time I look at it, it bugs me, then it's like it's got to go. I got to find something else. That's kind of kind of how I how I do it usually. Um, what if we uh, dual toned it? Had like a, a little bit more of a something like that. Let's get something on this this surface here too. Now we got lights right there. I'm trying not to get too many t uh, texture lights in the same area uh, or of the same type, unless they're supposed to be a, like a repeating um, a setup, a repeating like process or something. God, this is so. I wonder, should I try to go orange across the whole bottom here, maybe? Is that like a thing? Not bad. Guess I'll try it for now. See what happens. I'm trying. Yeah, I'm trying to get a decent amount of orange in it. In this too. Look at that. All four of these are non-usable. I run into that a lot um, yeah. usable meaning I don't like the seams on them sometimes I'll keep one of these around though if it can line up all right and look like feasible <laughs> but yeah a lot of these some of these uh, some of the patterns they just completely look not feasible like who in their right mind would ever have metal body lines that look like that so that's that's a big problem i've got with so many of them um that they just you know sometimes they make some sense um and sometimes you just won't have so many seams um on something a big large structure that uh would drive you drive you nuts to have that many seams can't imagine all that welding building it um i kind of wanted to keep the orange running on these two rows because it almost looks like it's a little bit of a natural divider right there and I kind of, I, I really do want to put in a big light too, just uh, something to offset everything, something like that. Oops. <laughs> and now even this, I'm looking at it, and the more I look at it, I don't like it again. I just like I don't like that seam. I, I don't know what it is. I think it's, I think it's a little bit OCD on my part now. I think I've been looking at those seams for so long that they make me cringe. <laughs> I don't know how else to explain it. Uh, uh, okay, so up here, I'm going to try to get some uh, one of these kind of textures up in here. We'll see what pattern I get this time. Okay, well, two of them did all right. What's this block? Is that a and that block can be uh, rotated. Okay, good. And I can fix this. There. There's an, oh, yeah. Got some more on the other side here. Oh, and you're going to do the inverse. Nope. You're going to do that one. Nope. Okay, you're going to... Okay. Uh, I think I'm think I'm good there, too. I think both of these can be rotated. Good. texture light back here and that's the wrong color this looks still bugs me 
Okay, this shouldn't be orange. Uh, how about let's try dark? Let's try dark instead. Let's a darker shade. Maybe that's it. Look at it again in a couple minutes. See if I've changed mine. <laughs> All right. And do I want to keep? No, I don't want to keep doing this. And the tones of that and this are. I guess they're not too bad. I think this should be a little darker though. And maybe over here I stop repeating the pattern. This is kind of like a way to walk, I guess, even though there's a shield that gets sitting right here. Oh, there's a shield right here, yes. Let's make a floor for the shield. That'll 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 be something. Um I'll just go really traditional with this and put like four of my go-to texture around a thing in the middle. Um, works out pretty good. Not very inventive, but I'll maybe get some uh, things like that there. And uh, yeah, I'm not liking this that weird orange kind of on the inside there. That's strange. I think, I think these uh, beams ought to be painted too. And then maybe just lose it there. But with a darker tone. A texture light there. Um, this wall. This wall's kind of neat. I like how it's divided, so I, uh, it would look pretty natural having one color. Oops. Ah, that could probably work. I'm trying to go Star Trek, and this one, I, I've been uh, using less of this texture and been trying to get more of this, and it looks a little more um, high-tech, I guess. Here, I think we already kind of painted that. Um, up above here. Gosh, I go with another big light. Try it. It'd be kind of neat to get a stripey thing in the floor here too. I did like the looks of that in the other in some other places. But, um, I got so much orange on the wall over here already. Maybe, maybe I ditched the orange here. I think maybe that's a thing. Maybe we'll just go bright here. And then, then if I put a stripe in the floor, it will look more appropriate, I think. I'm going to try to do it with, um, this again at, uh, for at least one, one block space. Let's say in a line right there, and over here was done in a regular floor color like that. And so then we match. Uh, and I got the orange there. Well, let's just paint that in. Oops. Something like that on the floor. Uh, that could use something there. We gotta paint this stuff. Let's go a little extra dark with that and some kind of texture we can wrap around this. one of those there so I figured I would get one there and can we do something a little more funky here how about like that okay and then this inlet take another place for a tank of some some margin probably another O2 tank put it like that both of those 
closer that way, huh? I'll be all right. You won't see the inside one. Um, I'm gonna go dark back here. I wonder if I shouldn't just paint a random dark line across here. Sometimes just weird thing like that just helps. I, I, I can't explain why really, but uh, sometimes it just looks better. Um, I want to darken in the side walls in this area here. And let's turn this into an orange. Maybe that too. All right, so, okay, so last area here, this is where a uh, gravity generator is gonna go. And I wanna just see what's below it. Okay, I cannot mess with the blocks below here at all. All right, so we'll just uh, fill this in with something. <laughs> below it. No, let's do the same thing I did with the other. Let's use, I've been kind of using this as a standard below the parts in this ship. I've fluctuated from ship to ship on what textures get used for that, but yeah, let's do orange. Oh. oh, if I do orange, that means i got to paint that whole strip orange. Never mind. Um... Let's do orange on the walls in here then. Maybe a little light or two. Ah, oh, doors open up. Drives you nuts. <laughs> Something I ought to learn to do sometime is not put in the doors until I'm done texturing the area. <laughs> uh, dry, just drives you nuts. Um, I do anything over this piece. Yeah, that works. How about a little gadget console there? A little. No, let's use something technical look in there. And then we gotta try to texture this piece under it. Let's go simple there. And the ceiling. Uh, I guess just ceiling white would be kind of neat if there was some kind of light I could put in, but it's a two by two thing. You can't line any lights up properly to that. Uh, at least centered it, centering, centering the light. Excuse me. Okay. So now. It's kind of got like, I don't know, ba base coat of textures. So I, I say that a lot, like, ah, I did the base coat of textures. This is basically what I mean. I, I you know, I try to take some time and get some, some different textures in there, try to figure out like a color scheme. Um, usually after this, I'll go right into uh, well, adding some decals. Um, so let's, uh, let's do a little bit of that. Uh, I got a couple uh, automatic go-tos. Uh, I actually picked up this from Excalibur a long time ago. Put like uh, this, uh, that one symbol behind pipe ends. I thought that always kind of added a little bit of detail. I don't think I have too much pipes going on in here, but there's another one. Yeah, I don't want to put anything there. It blows away your color every time you do this, so which is annoying putting decals on. So I usually like to do them if I can all at once, but. Usually doesn't go that way. All right. Um, okay, we're gonna want some decals on the floor here below the shield. Hmm. Guess I'll just keep it pretty simple. And likewise, I'll do something like that around the warp core. I want to use some caution tape, though. I think that'll work somewhere here. I think I could do like a strip on each side, kind of like that. Whoops. And how about a couple of dashes? 
ashes. Really wish there was a lot more things to pick from. I would really like some like angled like white lines that match the other ones and stuff like that. Can you imagine doing like angled uh, like landing pad outlines and stuff? That would be that would be really cool to do. Not not terribly hard to do. Just need some more of these uh, usable pieces. There's like four pages in here, and and obviously the the numbers and letters are are, are very usable. And um, but then you get like here, and it's just like. <laughs> you know, I found uses for a couple, but a lot of it's just, I, whatever. I mean, it seems like a waste. And then where you need a lot more, like, diagonal line or line that kind of, uh, you know, lines up. Or you have have a line on one side and then have another line that kind of, like, lines up over here. And you could, you could make all kinds of neat patterns and drawings practically with uh, the decal lines. It's not hard to do really like to see something like that in the game at some point <laughs> just saying uh there's a lot of things a lot of things i want a lot of things i want for sure um little improvements like that like the decals and if you could set your own colors to them i think that would be a wonderful thing too so i am looking for an o2 tank right now and the more of these icons you see the more they all blend together so uh oxygen yeah look at that large oxygen tank I probably already had them equipped somewhere. Oh, yeah, I did. Now I see them. But that's just something I can throw in here pretty easy. They're, they're pretty detailed part. And more oxygen is not a bad thing. Uh, so I think one was going there. I thought I had another spot. Oh, yeah, over here. So is that upside down? That is upside down. Okay, a couple oxygen tanks. Uh, that doesn't really fit well with the block work I got there. What's going on with these blocks? Can I... Hmm. Can't really do much of anything with that. I guess I'll leave it. It's, uh... can pretty much only just make it a full block and... Probably looks a little bit better that way then. Okay, uh, let's put some parts back in. I keep on uh, throwing them out of my inventory because I can't hold enough stuff at once. Uh, let's look for a shield. Uh, not that one. Not that one. Advanced is what I've been using. Or did I already have those? I probably already had those in equipped somewhere too. I can never find anything. <laughs> yeah, I already had them there. Okay, and shield. I'll darken you up a little bit. I don't know if I should go orange with it. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. A little bit different tone of gray. Uh, let's get the warp drive back. Don't see that. Uh, warp. Okay, I've just been putting in the advanced one. Crash it again. And we'll put you in and just darken you up a little bit too. Okay, so. Uh, it's pretty basic right now, but uh, let's see what lights do. Um, that uh, usually changes things a lot. Now I gotta find places where I can actually put lights, which gets. Very difficult to do. <laughs> I can't put lights anywhere here. That I don't like yeah, that one wall space. Uh, I guess I do that to myself. I, I I try to get as much block detail work and things as I can and then when it, it's time to like put a light in place it's like this huge chore of finding like a spot anywhere that you can put a light at. Uh, let's get a light in this hallway here. Um, at least that will work. I'll try to get it kind of centered. Or how about centered with the warp drive here? 
Oh, no, I didn't want to do that. Oh, there's a reason for that. Um, I was going to put some fancy glass or some uh, some glass little windows that match these seams in front of there. So if I put a light here, then I will not be able to put the glass there. Uh, it does get frustrating dealing with uh, the, the light placement often. But how about, how about a little light here? And let's, let's also investigate this one. Oh, that's, that's going to point the light just in this direction, I think. Yeah, let's try it, see what happens. Um, light color. Well, for now, I'm going to go, go to purple, intensity 2. Anytime I try to go to intensity 3, it gets too glary. Um, intensity 1 is too low. And, yeah, I can just... I, Kind of want like an intensity 2.5, <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, I think that would always help. So we're just kind of uh, put a couple, uh, try to find uh, probably three locations for lights right now. Um, I wanted two spotlights and potentially one uh, non-spotlight for more of an ambient look, but I did want to get some, uh, some color in here too. And this area is going to be a real nightmare to get a light in. Don't know how I'm going to even do it yet. Unless I change the blocks up on the ceiling, get rid of that little area. Or maybe can I put the offset one? No. No. Hmm. Going to have to have a light over here somehow. I do believe. Okay, so let me turn off my spotlight. This is what we're currently looking like. Um, that's pretty boring. Now I can get a light here. Maybe I'll use this for an orange light or something, or this this color. I'll do it. Oh, uh, maybe not. That's pretty crazy, isn't it? Nah, I don't like that angle for that. Let's use this for the um, ambient light or non spotlight. Let's try it in gray. Okay, so that just kind of makes this everything light up in the area, not really with any shadows or anything else going on, just a little bit of like more light. Um, where these lights, you get your shadows, and so, well, you can definitely tell the difference between the, the light and dark on where they're pointing. Um, but this, I don't like to do by itself. Be, it needs, like, something else to go with it, which is, like, really another light um, to uh, break up just that look and to get shine, like, a brighter section down on another area. And I'm going to have a real problem with that um, because I really want to get a light up on the ceiling somewhere for... Uh, this kind of thing and I might have to do some block changes here in order to get a light uh, that doesn't look like it's floating in the air So I think uh, yeah, I think that's gonna have to be done. So let's take out this strip of blocks here And I can even go with uh, something like this That's uh, got a partial surface area on it And then there's a particular light I can use that fits on that surface and it'll look right um, I'm going to again try a little bit of orange, maybe like a strip there, and then how about, let's just go crazy, let's go dark here, and then dark there, and silver in the middle, or maybe, maybe this get lightened up a little bit, or maybe I don't use that texture. Uh, problem with using some of those two-way textures is in this case because I got that curve there I don't think there's any way I could rotate that around to fit the same way as it is on the other side so anything that uses two different side textures are basically rules it out as being usable in this situation and I don't want to I really don't want to do more of that this one's really been coming in way too dark and dirty, and I really haven't been using it much at all on this build. Um, just 
doesn't doesn't fit. This one can work. This one's pretty clean, pretty nice looking. Um, and then let's uh, maybe I can angle a couple of these like that. Maybe even three of those like that. And you know what? I want to darken the whole area up a little bit though. Oh, this and that's yeah, not that's not doing it for me there either. Um, <laughs> I do this all the time, all the time. So if you want to know how I texture, it's uh, yeah a lot of this, especially if I'm really caring. You know, if I'm just trying to slop together a room real quick, I won't get so picky. Um, but this ship, every every single room, like every every body panel, like how it looks. Um, I'm being picky about it. I just say uh, I just really want it to be nice um, See I don't like okay, so this is I don't know Again, I want to get some orange in here, but I don't know I like where I'm putting the orange It's pretty random and haphazard and that's something a little bit different with what I'm doing on this ship too is uh, past creations I would do I have them more uniform like if I had orange on this part of the wall I would have orange all the way around the room on that part of the wall pretty much um, and this one I'm just like yeah let's just put a random stripe um, and, and do stuff like that and it's uh, for the most part I, I yeah I like it um, but I yeah I have to ditch all that there <laughs> That was just not working. How about a little plate thingy there? I know I'm gonna have to uh, probably come back and touch this room up, but I wanted to get uh, want to get it to a certain point, so at least it looks like it fits sort of in the ship. Oh yeah, all that work of changing the block. I better darn well get a light up here now. Um, so let's put this here and let's try again to get some kind of this red going on oh you know what oh i remember what i did in the other rooms i used the ambient light as red and the spotlights were either gray or purple and that created the look i kind of wanted so this one would actually have to be like a regular spotlight which is way too bright right now i think um well, that's because of the conjunction with this one. So if I took this one and we uh, went here and we drastically lowered its radius, that's kind of the type lighting effect I was doing in the uh, the other engineering rooms on the ship, sort of, but a little bit more tweaked out. Um, Let's narrow the spotlight angle on this one, make it kind of thinnish. See if that looks a little bit better. Again, big problem with this is I don't like my uh, the places I can put the lights right now, so I'm not getting really the effect I wanted to get from the lights. Let's change this one to be a non-spotlight, a little tighter radius. And this one, I want, I want it to be more impressive. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna try just for a second. I almost always back off uh, going to once I go to intensity three, but I'm gonna lower the spotlight angle to try to get it a little more targeted on part of the floor over here. And in this case, uh, so the glare I'm talking about is like this big glare you're getting off the light um, especially off like well a lot of a lot of textures um, and it, it uh, reduces that glare an awful lot when it's well I guess it's not really doing that either is it now well, you know in this case I think it looked better as intensity 3 it, it uh, brightened that area up a little bit better um, something's not quite right with this room though I like the look of the room down here better. Um, granted, I spent a lot more time on this room. Um, let me just analyze it again here. So we had our separations even on the ceiling. It was in more in a formation too, I would say, on this room. 
So we had some uh, we had some lighter, and then we had some dark, and then we had the a uh, lot more uh, framework and stuff going on in here. And I used some of those texture lights too. Some more detailed parts too in here. Well, okay. Ooh, oh, I just seen a missing texture. Where was it? Where was it? I just seen it. I just seen it. Where? Uh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> and I bet you the other side's missing it too. No. <laughs> okay. Well, there's there, there's one more missing texture found. Mission accomplished. <laughs> Well, all right. Um, I think I may try to stop this here, but again, first run. Okay, so I say this a few times. The uh, the med bay I got in the other part of the ship that I showed in the video earlier today. Um, same thing, first run. Um, from here, uh, my goal in life is going to be to make it prettier somehow, uh, some way, um, and that's. Until I until I get it to the point where I'm like, okay, that's cool. Um, but it's it's not it's not quite there yet. And the uh, last thing I want to do, I'm gonna take some regular old glass windows, and I was just gonna do that one thing um, I said before about uh, how I want to do the glass here over this section, um, and why I didn't put the light in the ceiling right there. ship so I can see the part. <laughs> there we go. Ah, glass piece placed. Um, and after all that work, I don't know if I'm even going to keep it. Hey, actually, it's not looking as good as I thought it would. Probably because this is orange. Last, one last quick test. What if this wasn't orange? Oh, and I can't paint that without removing the glass again. Okay. Yeah. Kind of actually like that a little bit better now. Okay. Don't like the inside texture here, though. It just needs to be darker. Let's try kind of what was there, but darker. A little bit better. Kind of. We'll see it's it's not horrible bad right now um it's it looks better than the med bay that i did earlier uh or not today but uh, a different day um this white wall back here this is something that I'm, I'm seeing through the warp core and it looks all just white and boring back there i think that's a problem so hold on I, um let me just try to liven that up a little bit uh, okay Paint this back. A little darker tone with it this time. Okay, so we got a little bit of orange glowy there. And all that kind of meets up with the other orange there. A little bit better. Um, maybe all this stuff on this row here could get darker. Something like that. Maybe across here too. I hate to paint over my texture light like that. What does that do for it? 
Oh, this is a no-no too. I got two texture lights next to each other um, in the same area. It's something I try to avoid doing. So I'm going to get rid of the texture lights on this one. This orange up here isn't doing it either. I don't think. Oops. Texture was all right, though. It's got the little light on the bottom. And let's get rid of that orange there, too. Oops. A lot of it's, uh, you know, just look at it, look at it some more, look at it some more. And I think as a, uh, okay, very last thing I'll do on this video, I know I keep, uh, keep on going, oops, a little bit more with this. What is going on with that? Why does that look so weird? I don't know. Yeah, it looks like the line's broken up top there. Does that do it on the hair? Huh. Never seen that one before. God, even if I put that in there, it's like it's got a duplicate of itself over it. Uh, I better let's just not do that, I guess. That's weird. Um, okay, so how about instead of a line, we put a dot. <laughs> a couple dots. There, a couple dots. There we go. Um, you know, I, uh, last thing I really didn't do is anything with the floor. And you see, you see how the time goes by when you work on, work on this, especially when I'm not trying to narrate it. I'm just like, um, I keep on thinking, yeah, I'm going to stop for now. And then it's like, oh, wait a minute. Let's just do this thing. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I don't like that there. Uh -huh. A couple little glowies. Maybe this glowy ought to go here. Maybe, uh, ah, I guess I won't touch that. Glowy there. How about a glowy here and maybe there, too? Can't really do any line work on the floor here. Again, if there is some really neat stuff where you could do, like, angles with decals, that would be so cool for so many areas. But uh, it's just, just the squares. Just the squares. And got to see what happened if I uh, did another section here in orange on the other side, even though it doesn't symmetrically line up quite right. I, th I think that's still all right, though. And it's weird how the, the back end of this is open, but I figured, it, well, I guess you can get to it any way you want to. But uh, one of those things you don't really see. Maybe I will try this in orange, too, again. Just on that part this time. So it kind of looks like there's something going on back there. You don't really go there, though. Well, there you go. There's 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 the uh, the basic uh, texturing of uh, like how the engineering areas are at least being kind of done. I don't have this quite right though. It needs. It doesn't have the. Uh, the flare of the uh, the other rooms it's kind of uh, a little more subtle um, and I think a lot of it has to do with the positioning right now of where the lights are um, which I have uh, I guess a lot of very limited options on where I actually put the lights um, which is getting kind of hard to light up rooms like this um, I could I could probably make it a little snazzier if I ditched the glass and used like actual ceiling block, at least in that area, uh, to put a light. And we do have the one here too, but yeah, I'll have to work at it a little bit more. And that's uh, yeah, again, why some of these uh, these room areas take so long to do. Um, this is just like one step of it, and I also you know, am building it out with the blocks took a while too. So they, they, everything takes a long time. I'm sure you guys know that. Um, <laughs> thought I'd try something there. I do a lot of these whim try things, you know. It's just like, hey, what if that's orange? I'll just do it. I can always hit undo. Um, and sometimes I'll like it, and sometimes I won't. And sometimes I'm on the fence, and I'll leave it like that for a little bit until the next time I look at it. And if I still don't like it, then I'll uh, 
then I'll change it. <laughs> so, all right. Well, anyway, that, that is it for this video. Um, I, uh, maybe tomorrow. I, I can't guarantee it, but I might try to do like a build, build video um, somewhere in the ship. I got a lot of different areas I could be working on. This area, well, this area needs to kind of get done. Um, I guess there's a little bit of block work in place on this area, but uh, um, I don't know. The whole mess hall thing, I got to do this uh, this hollow deck thing, and that's going to be complicated. That was going to take a while. I'm going to have to build some LCDs before I can even really try it out to see how it's going to work. Um, and then I've got all those crew, crew areas to do. They're kind of the boring... They're a bit more boring of a room because you're not really putting anything exciting in. But a lot of uh, what, what would be happening in here, though, as you can see, these are all like uh, pretty much solid pole blocks except for the, where the turrets are. And any one of those is fair game for to chop into a little bit here to uh, make taller ceilings and the room look better, basically. Uh, despite how tiny of a area this really is, you can kind of, you know, if you take a look at the... Uh, the the, the teleporter room over here um it's the same thing it's it's the same same uh room space as what those uh those crew rooms are so um again it's problematic usually putting lights in these these rooms and i had the same problem over here the only place i could put lights is on the far walls i can't put any up on the ceiling so i had to go pretty like uh long long uh, range lights that would uh and i and i staggered them and i actually like that staggered look better than having them uniform um like there's one light here shining all the way across as far as it can this this way and then another one coming back the other direction across here but out of out of uh the options i had for placing lights in here which again was quite limited um that was the best thing that uh, i came up with and then i snuck in a, a ambient light over here basically um so I could get that uh, light up the general area a little bit more. And I do have light bleed through now from something that's on over here that... Oh, the engineering area, that is not on sensors yet. Okay. Well, anyway, uh, you all have yourself a great day, and uh, I will talk to you later.